Bohemia covers the Hussite wars of the early 15th century, which uh, pitted armies of local religious enthusiasts against so-called crusader armies who wanted to turn the rebellious province uh, back to the authority of the Pope. It's written by Pavel Manchar, who's from the Czech Republic, or Czechia as it is now. Uh, he was a very early adopter of Bill Hooks, and when I put out a call for contributions, he stepped up. Um, because of his work and a little bit of fiddling around by me, we now have a chapter on the Hussites. And uh, so we have uh, new cards for those who have the Crusaders, and we have the Hussites with the cross and the symbol of the chalice. And then, of course, you can't have Hussites without war wagons, so an important part of the rules are special rules for war wagons. These were the Hussite secret weapon. And um, the old crusaders uh, couldn't resist the temptation to keep charging these things and coming off badly unstuck. So we have rules for them. We have uh, rules uh, for um, some other new troop types, like we have um, mounted uh, skirmisher crossbowmen. They don't feature in the Wars of the Roses, for obvious reasons, because they got shot to pieces by longbowmen if they came anywhere, anywhere near them. The uh, Hussites are earlier users of gunpowder weapons, so there's a lot of hand gunners, there's a lot of uh, artillery towed behind these wagons. Uh, we have light artillery and heavy artillery. And um, we have some interesting rules to, to make these uh, war wagons into the uh, deadly military technology that they were at the time. And as in all of the uh, other periods, there are, some, there are a few little special events to add some local colour and spice to the proceedings. There's a theatre scenario too. It's called the Battle of Sudomer in 1426, which was an early victory by Jean Zizka. Uh, he led a relatively small but ill-equipped peasant army and defeated the so-called Iron Lords, uh, Knights Hospitallers, along with uh, some other heavy cavalry. 